Um, this guide is gonna be very basic, and most of you, you're gonna know all those already, but if you don't, you'll find it pretty useful, so I'm going to do it anyway, and I will show you a few more things on the way. Okay, let's start with the problem because there is always a problem to start with. The problem is that if we run an application from the nightly remote, on this case the prompt app but it happens to every app anyway, the windows won't draw neither the text, or the glyphs. See? Basically it looks kinda cool from a design perspective and it is fully functional too. Gnome should consider to add this on their HIG maybe? We'll see. So, there is an open issue here, and surprise surprise it affects only NVIDIA users after GTK defaulted GLES. If you missed this change, the merge request is here and it's for GTK 414, so the update will come later and it's not on the current stable. Anyway, go back again. So, where exactly is the problem? Benjamin says it's definitely a GTK bug because GTK isn't spec compliant with the GLES specs, but only with the GL. The thing is, that for a month now, everything on main is broken for NVIDIA users, which I can't say it's one of the brightest moments of GTK, and the fact this is on an unstable release doesn't make it much better. At least there is a workaround, and that's to pass the preferred GL environmental variable on runtime. So we can go back to the terminal, and pass it before the run command. And if we run it again, this time we'll run normally. Although I'm not completely sure what other artifacts the debug parameter can bring, so this is can be considered only as a temporary solution. Also, obviously we can't launch apps like that all the time, and create custom desktop files or setting global parameters on our session isn't a good idea either. What we can do, is to override the environment for specific apps only. And FlatSeal makes that super easy. You know a main reason Flatpak is such a great format, is because of the community support. There is amazing tooling that has been developed outside the core developers, and it's not only FlatSeal, but right now it's about FlatSeal, so here we are. And here we can simply pass the prefer GL flag, and it will only be set for this specific app. Basically it's exactly the same as running Flatpak override on user space. So if we run prompt one more time, this time we'll run normally with all the bells and whistles. And if you're wondering where the override has been saved, it's on XDG Datapath, meaning .local and share. Flatpak. Overrides, and the name of the app. There you go! Some Unix simplicity. Meanwhile, if you don't know the prompt terminal, one fantastic thing about it is that it automatically discovers the installed containers in your system, and you can easily log in on them with new tabs. Mostly handy for using it on immutable systems like Silver Blue, but you can use it pretty much anywhere. We'll put a link down on YouTube description on how to get it, and I'm planning on making a video on it later. That was everything for now, bye bye!